Total worldwide wind energy capacity currently exceeds 750 gigawatts and is growing faster than ever with an additional 650 gigawatts to be added in the next five years. For companies like Siemens Gamesa Renewable Energy, optimizing the configuration of each new wind farm is critical for getting the most out of their investment and reducing costs for consumers. When designing a wind farm, it's critical to place each turbine so as to minimize the effects the turbines have on each other due to the wake that they create. Accurately modeling the wake requires high resolution, high fidelity simulation data that is specific to that wind farm, such as the geographic location and the terrain. The gold standard for generating this data is the large eddy simulation shown here. But to run just one iteration for a single turbine can take 40 days on a 100 core CPU. And with so many iterations needed to develop an accurate model for a specific site, using CPUs is impractical. Using NVIDIA Modulus and NVIDIA Omniverse, Siemens Gamesa has been able to reduce that 40 days to just 15 minutes, approximately 4,000 times faster. This is accomplished by running the model at a lower resolution, and then, with a physics ML model trained using Modulus, to enhance or super-resolve the data. And the results are functionally equivalent to having run the model at full resolution. Let's take a look at the same data presented in a way that clearly highlights the coarseness of the low-resolution simulation. Here, they look like pixelated blobs. In the super-resolved flow field, you can see the finer vortex structures. Now that we have the simulation data, we can build an accurate weight model for the site and optimize the placement of each turbine. Thousands of iterations, accelerated by NVIDIA GPUs, are run as part of the optimization to achieve the maximum power output for each farm while minimizing the cost. And the impact is huge. When using NVIDIA Modulus and Omniverse for a typical 1,000 megawatt offshore wind farm, optimization can provide power to supply up to 20,000 additional homes and to do it at 10% lower cost.